All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Thank you all so much for coming over. Um, things are just starting to come back around, man. Starting to come back around. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, I did a video a while back where um, they were talking about Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey's daughter. You know, and they were all seen together um, with Diddy, like on a, a yacht or a boat or whatever the case may be. But got this video here. Cat Williams warned Steve and Marjorie Harvey about Diddy, Lori Harvey videos go public. Um, I'm not going to say here. I'm not going to sit here and say I believe all of this, but I'm just informing myself, you know, and it wouldn't shock me if it was true. Because, you know, Lori, if you don't know, Lori Harvey, she's been with a lot of dudes in the, in the industry. And, you know, Steve Harvey is always giving advice on, uh, uh, especially for women on dating and stuff like that. And a lot of people was like, bro, your daughter, you know, cause everybody thought she should have been with Michael B. Jordan, but I, I don't know. But you know, it was rumored that her and Diddy were together. So it's like, you can't escape that. Right. So we're going to check this video out again. Appreciate all the love and support with you guys coming over. We ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. So the streets are saying that the feds may have documentation on Lori Harvey being an industry escort because they found questionable video footage and photos of Diddy and Lori in Diddy's. See that right there, man. And I believe right here, I, I think this is. They should show another shot, but I think this is uh, when they were with Steve Harvey. So like her dad is like right there, too, I believe. And that's Diddy. Like, shh. Tapes. Y'all think Lori's going to get a subpoena? Because I bet you some sort of footage exists. And Diddy's ex, Gina, confirmed seeing them. He had shown me a picture of me and him. Um, that the, Like the first pic that we ever took. And I was like, you should save that as your screensaver. So um, he was like, I don't know how. So I was trying to show him. And... Um, I saved the picture to his photo album on his phone uh -oh. and then I clicked on the photo album to like set it as a screensaver and I saw a picture of him and Lori, like the same exact pose. What do you mean? I mean, the p same exact pose that he took with me. Okay. And he, d he did the same with Lori. Were they clothed or not? No. Mm. They weren't clothed. No. Lori Harvey. I mean, we should probably take a lot of what Diddy's exes said more seriously. But like I said, Lori Harvey is back in rotation because she is one of the people who dated the diddler. But this is not even the main reason why people are talking about her. The question is, did Steve Harvey and Marjorie know about what was happening with Diddy when they were happily taking double date vacations with him? Yeah, right there. See, same outfit, Diddy right there. Like, I mean, I mean, like... Really think about that, y'all. These Diddy parties been going on for a long time, and I'm pretty sure people have caught wind. I mean, Steve Harvey's daughter is, she's grown. She can do whatever she wants. But at the same time, like, it's one thing to be like, yo, if that's who you want to be with, go ahead. But to be like double dating, that's crazy, I think. A man who was 20 years older than their daughter. Because the streets are saying that Steve and Marjorie pimped out Lori to Diddy. And this may be one of the reasons why Cat Williams was exposing him when he was exposing Diddy. Yo. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin Virginia. hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Well, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say them yeah, so I mean, can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need another one? You, here, get you another Thank one. Thank you, too, sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... 
Huh. Was Steve and Marjorie also offered $50 million for Lori? And why did Steve quietly delete a tweet where he said, my brother Diddy is doing a world of good for these kids? Suspicious much? But how Boy. about we get into this entire Lori situation? Girl, we all know that Miss Lori Harvey has dated quite a number of men in Hollywood, from Damson Idris to Michael B. Jordan. Before Michael B. Jordan, Lori was romantically linked to Abu Thiam, the brother of Akon, after they were spotted getting close in a Miami nightclub in October 2020. Damn, and this man. was just weeks before she was linked to Michael B. Jordan. Towards the end of 2019, Lori was dating Future. Yeah, good night. Boy, because Future, boy, Future done ran through them. He done ran through them. And that was after she dated Justin Combs. In 2018, Lori also dated Trey Songs. And very shortly wait, after wait, her split. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry to keep pausing, y'all, but this, these are some quick hitters. She dated Justin and the daddy? Oh, good night. Did I re did they say that in the last, the one video I reacted to? Oh, Lord. My brain just went somewhere because you think about these freak offs and you got Diddy and his with Trey Songz, Lori was reportedly spotted making out with F1 champion Lewis Hamilton at a party over Super Bowl weekend. She was also engaged to Dutch football player Memphis Depay at some point, and there were other relationships that never became public. What celebrities have you smashed? I'm probably gonna guess this, but Lori Harvey. Oh, Lori Harvey! It wasn't like a smash though. Like it was like I was really, you know, I was really like with her. She was really with me. But she would Uber to like my place on the beach. Um, and you know, come out with me and stay with me some nights. Was it good? Phenomenal. Mind you. And this is before she got like thin. I was with thick Lori. But the relationship that had people thinking Lori had really lost her damn mind was the one with Diddy. For those who recall, they were rumored to be together after they were pictured together numerous times in Italy, Mexico, New York City, and Atlanta during their romance. Man. First of all, it was very weird that Lori dated father and son, right. even though she denied dating both Diddy and Justin. Now, so many things get written about you in the press, but I've always wanted to know what is like the biggest misconception about who Lori Harvey is. It's so funny because there's because I'm so quiet, yeah. there's been so many stories that yes. have been made up about me. Like yes. I've seen stories about me being like fully in love with somebody mm -hmm. and we have like this whole relationship and I'll see the guy and I'm like, I've actually never even met him before. No. Like full blown stories I've heard. <laughs> I've dated a father and son before. Not true? I've, absolutely not true. And I've even heard that I'm a lesbian at one point. So, you know, there's been- See, I think you gotta when you when you listen to this, you gotta listen carefully. All right. Maybe they didn't date. All right. Maybe they didn't have a title like this my boyfriend, that's my girlfriend. Maybe it was just strictly you know what. And again, it is what it is. Whether you dated a father son or slept with a father son. Hey. A lot of different things. Yo, a lot, of, a lot of stories, a lot of misconceptions. Does so. it entertain you? Oh, I think they're hilarious. I love the stories. They're, they're very entertaining. I will yeah. give them that. Yeah. Very entertaining, but I just let it roll off my shoulder. Secondly, something else is that to a lot of people, it just didn't make sense how Steve and Marjorie were okay with that relationship, considering their age difference and Diddy's history. Like, Diddy even took Steve and Marjorie on vacation with Lori, and they were all loved up right in front like, of them. Well, that. allegedly, the only reason why Steve and Marjorie were okay with the relationship was because they were allegedly pimping Lori out and Cat Williams was allegedly trying to subtly tell us Steve and Marjorie could not be trusted. The thing is, when Cat Williams was exposing people at the beginning of the year, he basically said that Steve Harvey sold his soul and is in the Hollywood hookup and party cults that are hosted by people like Diddy. And other than saying that Diddy wanted to hook up with him, he also said that he was canceled for exposing another person who was also willing to pay to hook up with him. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Mm. 
Huh? So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> hey. I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> Kat also said that because he refused to let these people take advantage of him, every time he walks in the room, heads go down. And while to other people the heads go down because they see him as a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous, to his face, he is the king that walks in. One that they have to respect because he's not taken the shortcuts and he's not been funded. Kat even said that they pay people like him not to talk about things they don't want you to talk about. Well, he may have refused to play ball. But you know who didn't? Yep, Steve Harvey. People are now saying that with everything that has been exposed about Diddy, it now makes sense why Steve has always been so obsessed with Lori. Okay, who's your favorite person? Oh, you know? God, 100%. <laughs> I know that's right. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, sources even reported that there were internal family feuds because of Steve's obsession with Lori, and that some jealousy was lingering amongst Steve's biological kids yeah. and Lori, who has been taking the spotlight with everything. One source was like, Steve's got four biological kids with two previous wives and three stepkids with Marjorie. They're driving him crazy. He did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own, but there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. According to the source, Steve's way of handling the feuds has always been to throw money at them, buy them gifts, or just go into another room to chomp on a cigar. Plus, Steve himself said that Lori believes she's the special one out of all his children, and it's because he treats her better than everyone else. I told Lori I was gonna cut her off, and she just went, Daddy, stop. That was all she said was, don't, don't play, don't play. Because <laughs> Lori really thinks she's the special one. She really does. Lori, I told Lori I was gonna cut her off because she's making a lot of money right now, and I was gonna cut her off, and she just started laughing. And then she said, well, and you're not going to speak to me anymore? I said, yeah, I'll still talk to you. She said, but not if you cut me off. <laughs> so can't cut her off, so. Y'all know that there have also been some pretty wild allegations about Steve's obsession with Lori, with some people saying that they get the feeling that Steve dotes on Lori more than his own daughters because yeah. she's prettier than they are. And an even wilder accusation has been that Steve could be attracted to Lori. Then there's this one where people have said that Steve is obsessed with Lori because she is the only one he can pimp out. Well, people are recently convinced that Steve's obsession with Lori was not about Lori being the favorite child. It was about how Steve and Marjorie have allegedly been setting Lori up with men like Diddy with the hopes of making the Harvey name wealthier. And you know what? Steve has been trying to flip the narrative like when he did an interview with Us Weekly amidst all the Diddy allegations. Steve was talking about how he teaches his sons to respect women and how he insists on vetting his daughter's suitors. He actually told the publication that if a potential partner doesn't meet his standards, he makes it clear and they are swiftly shown the door. He was like, if I spot a bad one, I get rid of them. I make no bones about it. So they're very careful careful when they bring them you so but but you out there vacationing with diddy you can think a person is wonderful but everybody's wonderful in the beginning everybody you always meet the mask the mask can last for about 90 days and then after a while the mask starts unraveling and i just try to wait on that period sometimes they make it sometimes they don't he also said that if it's not the mask that he's worried about he focuses on the vibe he gets from the men adding but if you come in the house and i know right off the top that you're just not a good guy i start the reading process right away i don't say nothing to my daughter i just behind the scenes i start working toward getting rid of this guy the person you choose to spend your life with is probably the most important decision you'll ever make. That relationship becomes an elevator. It can take you up or it can take you down. Mm. So choose wisely. I mean, I see why people would say that he was trying to save face with this interview because where was this energy when Lori was dating Diddy? Did he not catch the vibes and the signs? Did he not see what was going on when everyone else was seeing it? Gina even said in her interview with Tasha Kay that Diddy had nudes of Lori and nudes of them together on his phone. Um, he had shown me a picture of me and him. Um, that the like the first pic that we ever took and i was like you should save that as your screensaver so um he was like i don't know how so i was trying to show him and um i saved the picture to his photo album on his phone and then i clicked on the photo album to like set it as a screensaver and i saw a picture of him and lord like the same exact pose what do you mean I mean, the same exact pose that he took with me. Okay. And he d he did the same with Lori. Were they clothed or not? No. They weren't clothed? No. Lori Harvey. I mean, I didn't see the whole body. I just seen like up here, up 
I mean, like above, up, okay. like from her chest and up. She didn't say that she had seen other footage, but if that was what was saved to his phone, can you imagine what Diddy probably had of Lori from his parties? Child, we've already figured out that the women he dated were the stars to his freak-offs. In her lawsuit, Cassie said that Diddy brought her into his extravagant, fast-paced, and fueled lifestyle not long after she met him and signed to his label when she was just 19 and he was pushing 40. The lawsuit then went on to describe in detail how Diddy was prone to uncontrollable rage and he subjected Cassie to savage acts in which he and stomped her. She said that Diddy exerted his power and influence over her throughout the course of their professional and romantic relationship and plied her with and forced her to find male escorts and hook up with them while he filmed them and got off on them. In addition to controlling her career, Cassie also said that Diddy paid for her car, apartments, and clothing, and even had access to her personal medical records as a way of controlling her. Now, something interesting that Cassie said was that the freak-offs that Diddy hosted usually involved costumes like masquerade masks and lingerie, I and they continued for years, taking place at high-end hotels across the United States and in Diddy's homes. And get this, Cassie was required to dress up in lingerie for a freak off and Diddy insisted she wear white nail polish to contrast her nails with the skin of the black men he hired to have hookups with her. And Diddy recorded everything. Based on what Cassie said, she would delete videos from these incidents that had been shot on her phone. But Diddy told her he still had access to those videos and on a flight, he once made her watch a video she thought she had deleted. Guys, is this not Lori Harvey in white polish when she was with Diddy? On more than one occasion, does this mean that she was also forced to hook up with men? And even if some people may say that Lori and Diddy were not together for so long, I'm pretty sure that the time they spent together was enough for her to see some things. Plus, Gina also said that she saw nude photos of Diddy and Lori, so it's possible that she also participated in some freaky activities. The question is, did Steve and Marjorie know? And if they didn't know, why did they do nothing after finding out? Or were they the ones who pimped Lori to Diddy like the streets have been saying? Plus, tell me you don't find it sus that Mr. Harvey deleted a tweet where he said, my brother Diddy is doing a world of good for these kids. Honestly, if they knew about the things Lori was allegedly going through and did nothing, that would be pretty messed up. But you let me know what you think about this whole Lori situation in the comments section below. Only difference I see with this is, you know, uh, I mean, for one, she's grown, so she can do whatever she decides to do. They didn't mention any, like, drugs or anything like that. But I think this is more about, like, like Steve Harvey kind of looking like a hypocrite. You know, from what, it's like the whole practice what you preach thing. You know, he says a lot and be trying to give a lot of advice. Um, but yet, you got his daughter that's out there just, and and, and look, you know, it's like the guys going to be guys. The men going to be men. Like, I don't really think they care about, especially when you're trying to just smash. You know what I mean? They're not going to care about who she previously been with. Hell, a lot of these dudes know each other. And they probably, yo, you got to, hey, you got to get with Lori. Yeah, you got to, oh, that sounds so weird. That's my mama name. You got to get with Lori Harvey, man. She's the real deal. And just getting passed around and passed around, you know. But I do find it extremely odd that Steve says what he says. And then he she end up, you know, hanging out with one of the worst dudes ever. <laughs> so, hey. Comment below what y'all think about that. Um, this was kind of like the video I seen already with a little, little, little more information. But yeah, I mean, I I feel like she probably gonna get called up too. They gonna be probably wanting her to say something because I fi figure like if you're pictured with him hugging on vacation, you know that's different from like going to an, a, a event. You know, if you're at the club with Diddy, that's one thing. But you're on vacation with Diddy, that's a whole nother ball game. Stay tuned. All right. Peace out.